everybody! Hello and welcome! My name is Ariani and welcome to my beautiful channel. I'm talking a little bit low because you guys already know the deal. My baby's sleeping in the other room and I have to keep quiet to transmit the message. Precise, sharp, and clear. So, hello and welcome. I hope that you are doing well today. And today, I am really excited uh, to be talking about the topic that I am going to be talking about, which is, um, I named it, like, why artists and creators need to do their inner work. But I think it, it's, it expands bigger than that. Um, but I wrote down a couple of points. I think it was more than five. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think it was like five or six. Um, so, yes, why we as artists and creators need to be doing our inner work. And these are some things that uh, are coming up for me as an artist, as a creator, as somebody that um, is in the work of, ex of self expression. Um, and and yeah, these are some of the things that I've been kind of working on that I feel like are so important for us artists and, and creators so that we can exist in this world and um, thrive most importantly and not live kind of like in the constant fight or flight um, aspect of it. So um, why do we need to do uh, our inner work? We need to do our inner work because when our inner work is going to allow us to express ourselves authentically, it's going to allow us to most importantly thrive and show up exactly how we want to uh, be, be, be able to express ourselves and most importantly um, to show up sharp and clear um, and yeah we're gonna go with the first thing now why artists need to do their inner work um, number one um, it doesn't matter how you uh, want to be presented to the world or whether you are uh, in a feminine body, in a masculine body, whether you are um, uh, part of the LGBTQ community. And um, yeah, so like the number one thing that I want to say is for you, uh, being in the creative part of things and artistic things is, is a very feminine way of being we all have the masculine and the feminine but when we are in the creative side just as the word itself create comes from creation we are creating something we are birthing something so i noticed myself that there was a lot of self-worth issues when it came to my art and my creation and me and me being as a creative and how i didn't value it and it's because we are currently living in a society where um being creative yes we have this massive artist like in the music industry and stuff like that but we're talking about like the average day joe or me that it's very hard to to uh Put ourselves out there or market ourselves out there um, with uh, and, and showing up and seeing what I've created is valuable and not trying to like defend it or anything like that and I think that has to do because we kind of uh, live in a society that really uh, values more kind of like things that are not necessarily expressive in nature and that's why it's so important for you to check with your feminine aspect and see if there's something um in you that does not value your feminine side which is in this case your artistic side or your creative side and yeah like that's uh that's one thing that i found in my journey um now another thing too is to really um nurture your sensitivity as a creative person as a person that uh 
want to fully show up in the world in your most authentic expression, it is important for you to nurture your sensitivity. And the reason is because the way that we see the world has to do a lot with our nervous system. And our nervous system is really connected to our sensitivity and the way that we see things. And when we are being creative and when we are being artistic, it is important for you to nurture that aspect of yourself that is sensitive. You wanna make sure that those sensitive parts of you, you're also nurturing and you're not constantly uh, putting, yourself, uh, putting yourself in a position where you constantly have to be in the fight or flight response. And uh, moving from this, I actually I actually wanna mention this because I think it's really important. And as artists and creatives, we kind of tend to be rebels in a way. It's just our nature. We do not, you know, when we, want to, when we decide to go on this path, we do not want to be copying other people. We want to be expressing ourselves authentically. Now, honestly, something that I did that gave me structure and, um, oh my God, it's a lot, but when we are artists, we need to have some sort of structure and we need to feel secure in this type of society that we live in and again uh, in order for you to do that you have to feel secure also financially so like uh, one thing that I do and one thing that I will also recommend for artists and creatives is to go and get skillful at at something that is second to you that you also like that society values um, and, and I'm talking about the society that we live in in today's age. And like, for example, one thing for me that has helped me more secure in my creative part, and, and it's more like, okay, if this doesn't work out, then I have something as a backup plan. But I decided to get a bachelor's degree in computer networks and cybersecurity. But um, in that degree, I'm also learning about computer science and information technology, which is something that is valued right now. Now, I'm not saying for you to do that if you don't like it. It's something that I like as well. And I also want to demystify the aspects of technology. So you as an artist also have to really come ground yourself and look around. Okay, what are people really valuing um, uh, really valuing as a whole, as a society as a whole, so that you can have it as a backup plan so that you're not a struggling artist. Because it is really hard out here and really hard out here to be an artist if you haven't done your inner work and if you haven't figured it out yet. So I don't want you to be out there struggling, whether you're a photographer, videographer, makeup artist, etc. Always have a Education and not only that education is so important. I uh, recently came across something that they're trying to add art to stem um, And I find that absolutely wonderful because art is an amazing way of Building charts and just putting all those aspects together like beautifully. I think art is in the very fabric of our society, whether it is in architecture and stuff like that, like we like beautiful things. We like aesthetics. So um, again, just have kind of like a backup plan where you realize, okay, what is it my community really needing um, so that I can feel secure enough so that I can pursue or venture into the art or the creative path. I hope that makes sense. Okay, um, number three is when you're creating art, you're in the moment and you are, want to express yourself, let it up for interpretation. You're holding on to it um, and you're like, no, this is, not what I, this is not what I meant with my art. This is not what I meant with my writing. At the end of the day, everybody is going to interact with your work differently. You have to start creating a practice where every single time that you create something, you let it go. Are you going to be an art teacher or you're just going to be an artist and a creator? If you're in the path of becoming an art teacher and analyzing art and creations, then of course you can look at it and like create classes where you can discuss the art, but it's not for you. To, and to put energy 
um, to interpret it for other people because that's going to drain you so, 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 so much. Alrighty. Um, now, it is important that when you're also in the path of uh, the creative, uh, the creative, the creative or artistic path that while you're doing something on the side that it's not really calling your soul that it's really just draining your life force energy that you're still creating even if nobody else is going to see like for example i also started a practice where i downloaded like this app and i'm oh my god and i love it so much and i just color on my phone it's like oh my god i'll probably link it below like the app that i'm using um so when i'm not creating and my body feels the need to actually express myself via creation i'm i still create even if i don't show it to the world it's also important to know when um your creation is meant to be shared with others and when your creation is just for pure pure self-expression and for you to just witness yourself as a creator and as an artist it is so important that no matter what you do whether you're working as a in a bank uh uh all these uh things that are not really artistic that are just like so like repetitive and protocol blah, 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 that even though you take time for yourself even if it's five minutes a day and you just focus on expressing yourself creatively however that may look whether it is recorded practicing uh being on the camera videography photography painting cooking um rearranging your home um uh, playing with a scent all of that good stuff it is important that every single day you well the, when you feel that uh, urge like i i feel like i need to self-express that you go for it even if nobody witnesses let yourself be your own witness okay okay so oh okay i think this is number five this is number four and this is very very potent and i say uh and i wrote detaching and departing for the art oh this is so so good and it also ties in for the interpretation except the fact that interpretation is basically you trying to explain your creation to other people like again it's not your job unless like you're a teacher or you're trying to like you know analyze the painting and all of that but um in this case detaching from the art as soon as you create the art let the art or the creation do what it needs to do that is why it's also so important that before you create, you get so clear on what it is that you want to create. And every single time that you are there, put an intention for your creation. Get clear that you don't have to worry um, if you created something, you know, harmful or something that's going to bring people's energy down or if you if you really worry about other people's like well-beings and stuff like that like i do actually um but um like yeah detaching and, and and departing from the art and i kid you not like ever since i started for example in instagram is mostly my creative like self-expression and i do that with makeup um and by the way follow my instagram at ariani noelli there you will find like makeup tutorials or just uh, see watch videos me a uh, watch videos of me doing makeup and um but before i used to be like so worried like oh my god how many views is this video getting da, 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 da. oh my god why is that why isn't this video getting more views and stuff like that and that as you can imagine causes so much anxiety and also suffering because you start to question like am i good enough like so it's such a like it's you're you're standing on a thin ice when you do that and i think and it's so funny because i was watching tiktok the other day i think it was like yesterday night and i came across this um video where booty buddha buddhists were uh practicing i saw them like doing a sand mandala and if you see these sand mandalas they're very 
it, they take weeks building these mandalas and at the end they just swipe the sand and it was like it never never happened and i think it's so important for us as artists and stuff uh and creators that we let go because that's the reality of life like for example, I may be gone tomorrow and I don't know what's going to happen with this video. I don't know if the internet is going to exist tomorrow, but I'm just doing it in this moment because it brings me true joy to talk about these things and share what I'm learning with other artists and creators. And sometimes we get so attached to our creations and our art and you know the way that we express ourselves that we, we forget that the joy isn't actually being here, like doing the art, creating the art, um, and being with the art and just being in self-expression. And I, I say this because like sometimes I used to worry like how I was so like attached to my creations and the way that I was expressing myself that it also creates stagnancy and i say this because like we as artists and creators it's not always going to show up the same thing like for example i began my journey as a creative person really just drawing and then i got into other ways of creating and things but then i started to do it like uh, professionally doing makeup and then i kind of just stepped back because it was it was not giving me life but it was draining me because of the way that i was relating and we have to go moment by moment and realize that as artists and creators we're not always going to show up the same way i think yes it's something within our souls to be artists and creators but it's always going to show up differently sometimes and sometimes they're going to come together and collaborate for example uh videography and me doing makeup it's a way that i am sorry um it's a way of me expressing myself and my creativity and i do that with my Insta. like you can watch it in the videos that i do it that i do on my instagram where i merge videography and just makeup and the art of teaching to share with my community and and you know what i've come to the fact that maybe tomorrow i'm not gonna want to express myself like that and maybe tomorrow i'm just I, 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 I want to build apps. Like for example, I got a certificate in UX design. It's very, yes, you're designing for the user experience, but there's also the aesthetics aspect of it. Um, and yeah, as artists and creators, you're not always going to show up the same way. So it is highly important that you take the time to just like be with the art, create the art and let it go just like the Buddhist people do. <laughs> not necessarily destroy it or act it like it never existed, but like truly like let it go think of it as like you're putting it in a helium balloon and you're letting it go that's how i always see it from now on and a beautiful beautiful way that i saw this um recently expressed it was by andre 3000 you know he i i remember that i got introduced with uh, to his art it was by like um his rap songs um in the early 2000 and recently he came up with it. He uh, he uh, released an album just about flutes, and it isn't that he isn't still an artist or a creator. It's just it evolved and it transformed. <laughs> wow! And I'm sorry that I'm talking so fast. Fast. I really, really wish that I uh, to slow things down and take my time. But as you guys know, I have a little beautiful beautiful daughter that takes precedence over everything <laughs> to be honest um but i also wanted to show up here and share some of these beautiful beautiful gems um and i really hope that you take the time to really um like sit down <laughs> relax listen to everything what i say obviously take what resonates leave what don't but integrate it within you so that you can be fully um, fully successful when it comes to an artist and that your art and creations are able to provide for you if that's a dream. Um, that's a dream of mine. <laughs> so um, thank you all 
so much for watching these videos and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.